Now, if you're an avid golf fan, then the likelihood is you'll have been watching reviews of both a driver from Callaway and a driver from TaylorMade today. But surely by now, you all want the answer to that ultimate question. The noise is so different. I mean, it's, it's so noticeable when you come out of it. Swapping from club to club, the sound is so different. Now in the next few days, we will of course be doing full in-depth reviews of both of these drivers and I'll give you the full story, the tech spec, everything that's gone in to the making of these two clubs and what makes them so special. But the answer to the question I want to know is which one of these two is the best? I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. There are two things that separate these drivers massively and that's the way they look and that's a bit of an obvious statement because of the face and that clearly is a glaring difference but the big difference for me is when you set these two at a dress and you look at them from the crown because they're so far removed from each other Callaway have done something very very different from them and that's put that matte crown together which again I think looks really really classy it's a slightly elongated head shape and again perhaps a little bit different than what we've seen before it takes a little bit of getting used to in terms of on the eye and then tailor-made have very much gone into almost classic looks black crown it's again the sort of um the checkered flag as i used to call it pattern has disappeared but they've got that thin gloss black front line which we've seen in the mini driver which again i thought looked absolutely superb but then once again at address it's that face what's interesting for me about the red face is not only how different it looks in terms of shelf appeal and drawing people in but it's at the address position where it becomes really really prominent again i think there's a possibility that on the eye it tends to be a little bit easier to square up you certainly see a lot more of the face these drivers are both lofted exactly the same at ten and a half degrees so they've both got exactly the same sort of loft on them but in terms of what i see and how it sits behind the ball it couldn't be any different to be honest with you so the first real notable differences for me and they're not just minor differences, they are huge in terms of what you would decide on what was easier on your eye. I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. Can we get three, yeah? So we're starting to see some massive differences between these two products and it goes a little bit further because the next thing I'm going to talk about is the way they sound or the way they feel and ultimately they're pretty much the same thing and believe me there is a huge huge difference once again between the way these two drivers sound an incredible difference the way we're going to try and do this I'll put a mic near the ball on the floor I'll hit a few balls with each and see if you can recognize what I think is a considerably different sounding driver. The noise is so different. I mean, it's, it's so noticeable when you come out of it. Swapping from club to club, the sound is so different. Now, I don't know how much you could pick up on there. We've done our best to try and get the sound and it always echoes a little inside an indoor bay, but trust me, there's a huge difference, especially when you're switching it out of uh, each of the drivers. And uh, the only way to find that out, I suppose, is try them yourselves. But honestly, what a difference between the two. But right now we have only separated these two drivers in terms of personal preferences. Like I said, looks, sound and feel, and they will separate it, don't get me wrong. But ultimately, it's now down to the performance of the two drivers, and that's what we want to know, which is the longest, 
which is the straightest, which has got the best combination of the two, I suppose. I'm gonna hit some balls, collect some data, and we'll start off. Let's get off with this um, Callaway product and see how we fare. Are we on then? Yeah. Again, what a so different sound. It's a decent ball, they're going off. I've collected a lot of data this morning, and trust me, this is a real interesting head-to-head. -head. That's dry ball data collected, and I've got a pretty good idea on my opinion on how these things to perform, and I'll go through the data at the very end of this video. But for now, I think we need to pop out on the golf course and see how these two things perform in reality, I reckon. So before we get out there on the golf course, I'd like to ask you a question, and that is, uh, of what you've seen so far, which would you be looking at? Which are you looking to try? How drawn into that red face driver are you right now? Or is that Callaway on the list as well? Comments down below. Yeah, unfortunately from then on in, things went a little bit downhill. We didn't quite get to the course and unfortunately any on-course testing will be done at a later date. In short, at two days after that, clip was filmed, I managed to uh, catch that dreaded COVID-19 and uh, put me out of the game for a week or so and I'm still in isolation now and you can probably hear it not sounding too great but I'm determined to finish this video because what we've got so far is two really interesting products that you've no doubt, as I've already said, seen a lot of so far in the last couple of days. But my summary, which is what I was going to tell you out on the golf course, was that I want to start off with something I filmed in a previous clip of the Stealth and that was about this impact location. So Trackman 4 telling us where I struck the ball on these faces and that to me has been the real interesting thing in both these products. There's four screens that I'll throw up in front of you now. Two of them were with the, uh, with the Callaway, two of them with the Stealth and to be honest with you we could have showed quite a lot more. But you'll see from those impact locations, first two low on the face, second two one left of centre or right of centre and one low again. And the numbers that they produce are incredible. And I think for me, the overriding thing has been the performance, the consistency of performance in both these drivers has been phenomenal. That's the bit that I've been megaly impressed with. Um, the one other thing was obviously the data itself. And again, quite interesting really. On the day that we recorded this data, I was swinging okay. But the, the swing speeds are massively different. I'll start off with the data from the Callaway first of all. You'll see that um, an average club head speed of 94 mile an hour, 142 ball speed, which is incredible in relation to that club head speed. An average of almost 230 carry, lovely launch angle of 14, peak height 96, 3000 spin. Spot on numbers, really, really good. Then I'll put the numbers up of the, um, of the Stealth. 97 club head speed seems like for whatever reason, right throughout those whole set of numbers, you can see it's consistently higher. I have no idea why we achieved that. Obviously different shafts in there, different head aerodynamics maybe. I think that would be a hard call. I don't know. I cannot put any logic why there's a massive difference. But they still only produce the same ball speed and ultimately exactly the same carry. Launch distance, uh, launch angle rather, 13 degrees, peak height 92 and a spin number of 3.1. So the number's almost difficult to split. Like I said, the club head speed, I really don't quite understand why they measured so differently. But ultimately, my summary would be this. These are two very, very different drivers. And I think difference in, in a good way for the consumer, because depending on what you like, if you're opposite end of the spectrum, they're pretty much sitting on the table right now. But in performance wise, they're almost identical. So it'll be about you getting the exact thing that sounds right for you, that sits behind the ball nice for you, and I suppose ultimately a bit of shelf appeal as well. I think the red face driver is always going to split a little bit of opinion in itself just for, for having that uh, red element in it. The crowns are totally different. They couldn't be further removed, that elongated shape of the, the Callaway head. Honestly, I can't believe how different they are. And I think that what the video hopefully highlights is that, yes, they're massively different, but both of them perform incredibly well. My final statement would be this really. I think these are possibly two of the best drivers that I've ever tested. I really like both of them that much and, I, and, I find, and they're so different. It's such a weird review because like I said, 
the sound is so different. I can, I'm going to go on about the same things, but I cannot believe it. But for, for their own reasons, I love both of them. And I would gladly put either in the bag. It's a very much sit on the fence uh, kind of summary at the end of it all. And ultimately, it leads it to that same old thing, which is the only way, um, the only important sort of results, data, performance, and visuals of what is important to you. So if you are interested, you know where they are. They're going to be out very, very soon. I would mention at this point to help out the lads at fourgolf.co.uk, which is uh, there suggesting that you can pre-order both of these because they're expecting a lot of heavy demand. And as you know, that's where we do the majority of our work. So if we can send anything their way, absolutely fantastic. Right, that is me done. I've struggled through. It was, um, well, we got there in the end. COVID's certainly give me a bit of a battering and uh, hopefully I'll see you again very, very soon and uh, we'll be back out on the fairways. Bye for now, which is interesting. And I'll just break for a drink. <coughs> Launching 13 degrees. Uh, <coughs> I haven't sneezed in a week. Can you believe that? No. Am I still looking at it? I'm breathing. <coughs> yeah.